Hey guys, today we will be answering the question, what is the Dinosuchus in the aisle? The Dinosuchus is a giant version of a crocodile. I know what you're thinking. Crocodiles are already scary enough in their current size. Well this one is worse. In the aisle, playing as the Dinosuchus is like being the monster jump scaring the people in every horror game. It lurks in the lakes and rivers, and is always ready to launch out of the water to grab an unsuspecting victim into the depths until they drown or even worse, get torn to pieces. Mechanics Before going into the basics, I must stress that this game should always be played with headphones on, as sound is 80% of your navigation when it comes to finding other players or hiding from them. Starting off with the basics, use left click to bite, or left click and alt to bite harder for the cost of stamina. Pressing and holding right click will cause your Dano to launch forward grabbing anything half its weight until you stop holding the button or your stamina runs out. The launch also does some damage on contact. One more important thing to mention regarding the launch, is that it will go faster and further away if you use it while in shallow water. Launching at your target will result in two different outcomes depending on yours and your target's weight. If they are more than half your weight, you will get stunned and be vulnerable to damage for a few seconds. This still does, a considerable amount of damage to your prey. If they are half your weight or less, they will get grabbed and won't be able to attack until you let them go or they escape. While swimming, your launch will be replaced with a fast dash that also shares the same grab function so you can also grab prey that is swimming in deep water. While swimming, use control to swim deeper or go underwater. Hold spacebar to swim to the surface. If you want to swim just under the surface of the water without having to press control or space, press and hold your free look button instead. Mine is keybinded on my mouse so make sure to check your keybinds under the controls section of the in-game settings. Smelling while touching the bottom of the river slash lake will give you a sonar-like function where you will be able to notice movement in the water. This will let out a light blue particle effect as shown in the video. We will call this the Dino's passive ability moving forward. You can also see your passive ability working without smelling while moving normally in water but, the range is shorter and you're limited to sensing movement only on the surface of the water. Like animals swimming or drinking water. My experience Growing a Dinosuchus might be more or less difficult depending on which server you play on. There are servers where Dinos tend to insta-kill other Dinos for the purpose of food species control and elimination for food competition. And there are other servers where Dinos don't mind each other's company. Try out a few of them and adapt accordingly. As you can understand, Dinos are cannibals so bigger crocs are always a threat and smaller ones are potential meals. Growing up you want to avoid other crocs as much as possible. Enter open water only if necessary and always drag your food outside of the water when needing. After reaching a sub-adult size and having familiarized yourself with a map, you want to set up ambushes and wait for your prey to come drink water or cross the river. From there, aiming a good launch will secure you a meal 9 times out of 10. You can either drag your prey underwater and wait for them to drown, or release them as soon as you reach the bottom to start biting them. The latter has the benefit of saving you stamina. When night time comes, the Dinosuchus can't really see anything out of the water so relying on your passive ability is the way to go. You can also use this ability as you're growing to spot bigger crocs before it's too late. It's also important to mention that eating schooling fish is a very viable way to avoid dying from hunger. It does not provide nutrients which in turn comes with very bad side effects. Still if you really like a specific area of the map that doesn't have a lot of players coming by, schooling fish is the way to go. Finally, smelling on the surface of the water while standing still will submerge 95% of your body leaving only part of your head visible. This is mainly useful when in the swamp but more on that in a bit. Skins The Dinosuchus is usually underwater for most of its life so camouflage is not really necessary. If you can match the color of algae though, you can get away with some very interesting tricks. Remember what I said before about smelling on the surface of the water? Well, in the swamp, with the combination of algae and your skin, you will be very hard to spot. Using this trick will let you stay on the surface so that you don't consume oxygen while waiting for prey to come by. Final Thoughts All in all the Dinosuchus captures the nature of a crocodile very well. This might be a good or a bad thing depending on your playstyle. 
If you want to tussle and fight with an opponent, this is not the creature for you. The Dinosuchus is a patient ambusher. This is why its hunger drain is way lower than the other creatures in the aisle. Combat doesn't last long as you either grab your prey and drown it or it escapes. The occasional cannibalism fight might happen but usually the winner is the one that bit first. Swimming around all the time is a viable strategy because you're bound to run into something but what you'll run into is a different story. Finding spots where other players like to drink water or cross the water is in my opinion the purpose of this creature but I could be wrong. I enjoy setting up an ambush way too much, and I can, and will sit on the same spot motionless for 1-2 to two hours if needed. I have never had issues growing a Dinosuchus to full adult and maybe that's why. I usually avoid overpopulated spots on the map and in Gateway in particular, I love the swamp. It has little to no players except some juvies near the sanctuary but I like it so much that I usually grow there almost exclusively. That's it for me. I'll leave you with some hunts slash clips I got while recording for this video. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like and subscribe. I'm aiming for 100 subs until the end of the year. Toodles.